Hey guys, happy Monday, Monday, Monday. So, if you've seen that Facebook meme going around talking about uh, because of humidity, friend, check with your friends at Curly Hair because we're not doing well because our we look like alpacas. Yeah, that's what's going on right here. But I figure I'm not leaving the house today and I'm not going to throw a whole bunch of hair, hair gel on my hair just to make a video. Sorry, guys. Love y'all. Appreciate all of your comments and everything else, but I'm just not going to do it. So, weekend was okay. Um, I know I mentioned my daughter had some stuff going on. That's all kind of resolved itself, which is good. Um, sorry about the rooster being obnoxious, but you know. Um, so, I had ordered some stuff a few weeks ago from Torrid. And I got an email like 10, um, I guess almost a week ago now. Um, two weeks ago, I mean, saying that part of my order came in, but the rest of it wasn't. And then I never got an email saying the rest of my order came in. So, um, I called there because I realized that the email I'd gotten, which Saturday would have been like 11 days before, so that after 14 days it would get returned and taken off my order. So I was like, dang it, I need that shirt. So I called Tori and found out the rest of my order had come in, and they didn't know why nobody had called me or nothing even emailed. It's like run of the mill for them. It's like the second time it's happened to me. Um, but anyhow... Uh, so, and I haven't shipped to my local store because it's cheaper than having it shipped to here. And plus it gives me an excuse to go to Mobile and get some of the stuff that I can't get around here. Um, so we went, we picked up my tour and stuff and then everybody was hungry for lunch and I was trying to think of somewhere healthy to go. My husband wanted to go to Steak and Shake, which if you guys don't have a Steak and Shake near you, it's basically like a 50s diner kind of burger place. And I was like, I really don't want to go there. They really don't have anything healthy and I know they don't have salads. So that's out. Um, so I started like running through my head all the places that were nearby where we were at that might have healthy food. And I remember that Chipotle has salads or, you know, bowls. So I could do that. So I decided to go to Chipotle and we, I got a bowl. So it had lettuce and some rice and some steaks. That was the lowest calorie meat. And uh, about two tablespoons, tablespoons of cheese on there. And then um, that was it. That's all I had was those four things on my bowl. And I couldn't even finish it all. So that was about 350 calories. Um, I mean, they give you like approximate, like the steak amount should be 150 calories. Um, the rice should be 100 calories. Because I get just plain white rice because I can't have their lime rice. Because they don't use non-GMO limes in their stuff. So I have reactions to it. Um, so I get just plain white rice. And then... Um, you know, obviously lettuce is like a zero cal food and then the cheese was so little and nominal, you know, just cause it's about 315 calories. Um, so then, um, we ate that and I got water with my meal. And so I was able to eat really healthy for lunch that morning. I had toast for breakfast and then, um, for dinner we had some sort of chicken. I don't know what we made. I think we made a curry chicken that we put over some brown rice. Um, and then, Sunday morning, I had a bowl of applesauce and one piece of toast for breakfast. And then um, for lunch, we had gotten at Fresh Market buffalo turkey burgers. So basically, it was like turkey meat with buffalo sauce mixed in. It was so good. And um, had that and some steamed vegetables. And they all had chips, but I had steamed vegetables. And then last night for dinner, I found a recipe for split chicken breasts. Um, so we made split chicken breasts with seasonings on it. And something really interesting to know, if you guys like really crispy skin on your chicken, I normally don't have chicken with skin. It's not usually my favorite thing on there. I usually pull off the skin. Um, but because I was still kind of low on my calories yesterday, I was like, well, I can add the skin cause I'm low on calories and I want to try to get as close to where I should be as I can. Um, if you add baking powder to the seasonings that you put on top of your chicken breasts, before you put it in the oven, it actually makes the skin super crispy because it dehydrates the skin while it's cooking. Didn't know that, but I found it when I was looking online. Um, so that's just a little helpful tip for anybody. And we do have organic baking powder, so it's, um, it's non-GMO, so that's a good thing. And then, we, then uh, this morning, honestly, I haven't had anything to eat yet. I've had water. That's about it. I just haven't been super hungry. I haven't been feeling 100%. I 
my back was really hurting yesterday and when I get into a lot of pain um I only try to take pain pills for a little bit hoping it'll help kind of like calm down my back enough so that I can deal with the discomfort the following day so I'm trying not to take a pain pill today um but that makes me super nauseous when I have pain so I just haven't been feeling like eating I know I need to but I just can't convince myself to do it so it kind of sucks um, sucks for me more than anything, I guess, but, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, now I did mention that we went to tour and I want to show you what I got. Um, I'm thinking positively in this, so I did order some stuff smaller than what I am. Um, because why not, right? Um, let's be positive about things. I've still got two months to go. So everything I got is for our trip to Disney. Um, well, I guess I'll take these out to double check this one. Everything I got is like Disney themed. Um, because I really wanted to, I wanted to Disney bound, but I don't want to buy a whole bunch of clothes that I won't wear again. Oh, there we go. Okay. So these are Star Wars shorts. And as you can see, there's a Star Wars patch there. Oops. Millennium Falcon patch there. Droid patch. Resistance patch. So they're pretty cute. And they're stretchy, which is a good thing, means I'm more likely to be able to fit in them. But they're super Bermuda shorts. So they're super cute. Um, I ordered them a size smaller than the jeans I was wearing like a month or so ago. So hopefully they'll still fit. Um, well, if they're too big, I can always get a belt, right? I'm sure they sell belts. So then I got another pair of shorts. I'll get two pairs of shorts. That I'll just buy like shorts at like Lane Bryant or somewhere. Or maybe I'll order other shorts from them, but I just didn't order them in this order. So I was using my Hope Cash stuff. <clears throat> so these shorts, also stretchy, only have one design. And it's up with the house. So I got those. These are also Bermuda shorts, and they're really, really stretchy, so that makes me happy. Um. And my husband said when they were taking all my stuff out, <coughs> they um, were looking through everything like we're shopping too. Sorry. <laughs> He's like, it's fine. She doesn't mind. Um, now this shirt I got in a four. Yeah. And this is to go with Star Wars shorts. And it says a long time ago in a galaxy far away. I'm going to wear this when we go to the animal kingdom. Because that's what the Star Wars thing is going to be, I think. Or no, Disney movie, the Disney movie thing. That's what I'm going to go to. We go to that one. That's the one that I'm, that's when we go Epcot into the Disney movie theater the day. And then she works. We're only going to be at Disney for three days. So to go with the shorts, I think I got this in a four also. Yes. I got an up tank top. It's got all the dogs and the house is up top. So that's super cute. And that's to go with the up shorts. So that's two outfits. And plus, these are things I'll wear again. And like the tank top's easy to take in. The t shirt, as I lose more weight, I can tie it. Now, this is the one that I really don't know, y'all. I'm hoping by July I can fit this. If not, it'll be for a future Disney trip because it will fit me at some point. This is a size three. It's getting a little bit bold, guys. And it says, I'm 99% sure that I'm a Disney villain. And like right now, actually right now it would almost fit. So I have high hopes this will fit me for Disney. But yeah, so that's what I got. I'm just going to get like another pair of shorts between now and then. Um, for our Disney trip, but I really like those. I'm excited that the shorts are stretchy. <laughs> and um, I had the hot hope cash, I guess it's called. Hot cash. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, sorry, I had to move my table. Um, so I wanted to use that. So it was like $50 off of 100 So like I had four of those. So I got two of those stuff for like 100 bucks. So it's not bad. It's not bad. I got three t-shirts, two pairs of shorts. Um... I don't think I used up the full 200 worth, but it's okay. I just got what I needed and didn't get more because why? Um, 
and I didn't want to go over the 200, like, you know, I tried to do a budget thing. Um, but I mean, this is something I needed. I don't have any shorts because I don't, I never wore shorts at all. Um, and Bermuda shorts, like, recover my thighs because, like, I had that weird fat lump thing that I got going on. And, um, one thing I've noticed recently, especially this week, is my belly's hanging differently now. Um, so I've been putting a lot more of the firming lotion that I have, um, on it to kind of keep the skin kind of firming up a little bit more. Um, but now it's falling to where now I have to put some gold bond underneath it. So for those of you losing weight, when your skin starts to sag from losing weight, gold bond is a blessing. Um, that way you don't get any infections or anything where your skin layers aren't really tightened up more. Um, so that's what I've been doing with that. Um, it's not my favorite thing to have to talk to people about, but you know what? It's a fact about losing weight and nobody talks about the excess skin. Nobody talks about, you know, people talk about having surgery to have it removed, but really you're supposed to be down to such a low body fat consistency when you do get that done that a lot of people never hit that. And a lot of people shouldn't be getting it removed because they're not that low body fat weight. Um, I think it's like 10%. It's really low. I think men is like 7%. It's, it's a very low body fat, you know, allowance. Um, I mean, granted, some people might want to do it. They might do it, and that's great. Um, but my plan is to try not to, um, unless it becomes a hindrance um, as far as affecting me walking or uh, affecting me living or any of that stuff. I'm going to try to use compression garments to um, increase the blood flow to my skin to make sure it does tighten better. Um, picking those up probably the next month or so. Um, so there's a lot of things I'm working on to help my body do what it's supposed to do. Um, so that's really important to me is to enable my body to do the work itself. Um, today for lunch, I have, there's a soup by Campbell's that came out and it's yes something, but you just see the big yes on it. They have a tomato carrot bisque that is to die for. It's a low sodium soup and I believe it's organic. Um, it's pretty healthy. It's pretty low cal. Um, I was so excited when I saw it. I, we had it at our Walmart, and when my husband went back to get more, there was none. It was all different flavors. But we went to Fresh Market, and they had it, so I grabbed a couple cans there. They're a lot more expensive, so I didn't grab, like, as many as I would have wanted to. Um, I'm hoping our Walmart will get it back. If not, we'll go to one of the other Walmarts if they have it, because it is cheaper at Walmart. But I highly recommend that soup. If you like tomato soup, you can't taste any carrot. So, like, take the carrot out of your head. You don't, there's no carrot flavor. If you like a nice, thick, rich tomato soup, this is the soup for you. It's so good. Um, and it has a pull top lid too. So like if you want to take it to work and put it at your desk and just pour it in a bowl and eat it at work, it's perfect. Um, and then we went to five below and I got a new phone case with a corgi butt. And then I also got a sloth case that has like green glitter in it. It's so cute. But, um, just cause sometimes I want to change my phone cases. And then I was able to get two 10 foot charge cords, for my iPhone for um five dollars each so that's out of the work but they might and if they do it's a good thing um once to charge my iphone once to charge my ipad because i use my ipad to use the app for ddp to do my workouts and a lot of times i end up having to use my phone for the workouts because the app is dead the phone is dead so the phone the ipad's dead so i can't use the app and i don't want to wait to do my workout so yeah so there's that but yeah i think i'm gonna really push really hard to make sure that three Shirt sure, solidly fits when we go to Florida. Um, right now, that's my main goal. Um, but I mean, when I started this journey, I was hard five six, hard five six, which is why when I watch like Amberlynn Reed and she makes some of the comments she makes, I'm like, girl, you're the same height I am, and you're over 100 pounds more than me. This was back when I first started, and someone was like, oh, you're just be another Amberlynn Reed. And I was like, who is that person? And um, so I started looking her up and instead of watching her videos, I started watching like people who did commentary on her. So like, um, Zachary, Michael, um, kicking East are the two big ones I watch. And, um, you know, I started watching them. They were talking about her and they were talking about how she had said at some point, I guess people were making comments and her thing about her not being able to wipe herself and stuff like that. And she's like, or her girlfriend having to do it for her. She's like, oh no, she doesn't have to do that for me. And I'm like, yeah, but she left out the rest of it. Cause I'm, I'm keeping it real here, guys. You know, I keep it real. So like, I'm sorry, but at my weight, which was uh, when I was four fifty eight when I started. And even now wiping is not so easy. I have short arms. 
So unless you have monkey arms, which she does not appear to from the review things I've watched, she's probably using some sort of device to do it. Um, there are devices to help people who have mobility issues to wipe. Um, not that y'all want to know that in this lifetime, but it's true. And so I get mad if people aren't sharing that information because it's a reality of our daily life. I mean, I can, I can do it now, but I was struggling then at 458 and, um, I did get a device just in case because there were days I couldn't because I do have a shoulder issue. I do have a lower back issue. My back or shoulder were, were, were hurting. You know, I wasn't going to just not take care of that part of cleanliness, you know? And um, I think another thing people don't understand, and I don't know, I don't know, like I said, I'm, I've never watched her actually. I've watched commentary channels. And so I know I've not seen everything she's ever done. I just know what they say. And I've heard some commentary channels make comments about cleanliness. And here's the thing. When you're a bigger person, you have to clean yourself more than other people. Because you have roles and, sorry guys, I'm getting really deep on this. You've got like creases and stuff can get into. And if you, you can get a yeast infection in your skin. And so, there's all kinds of grossness you can get. And so you have to be extra careful. Somebody who's skinny doesn't have those excess spaces for stuff to get moist and grow and be gross. And, you know, if it means you got to shower and bathe and whatever twice a day, that's what it means. I yeah, I'm somebody who cleans themselves regularly. And generally, like when I was working a full-time job and leaving the house, I would take a shower in the morning and i take a shower before bed. Now I just don't take a shower at night um, because I don't do anything. I mean, I do stuff during the day to get dirty, but overnight I don't. So, you know, um, overnight I just sleep. Like, that's what I do, guys. Uh, I sleep, finally. I'm finally starting to get sleep, which is cool. Although last night, not so much. Last night I only got about four and a half hours sleep. But I only get about five and then I wake right up. Um, but I just get really frustrated when I hear people talk about like stuff like that because you've got to, I mean, yeah, I wear my hair up a lot, but that's just a habit. Growing up, I was never really taught how to do my hair. Um, so I really don't know how to do my hair. So you're either going to see it if it's just, if I take, do a video where I have to take a bath or a shower where I wash my hair because I do only wash my hair two to three times a week. That is the only thing I don't wash regularly because I have really thick hair. And if I wash it every single day, it actually gets really brittle. Um, so I have to let the oils build up in it for like two days before I can wash it. <clears throat> and I asked my doctor about that and I'm like, you know, I'm losing hair because my hair is just breaking off. And she was like, oh, you're washing your hair every day? You should not be doing that. And I was like, okay. Like, but I can still shower. She's like, yeah, you can wet your hair. Just don't put soap in it every single day. So that's what I've been doing is just every two days or so, two to three days, washing my hair when I take my shower, my bath. Um, I love in the back, we have a jetted tub that came with the house kind of sucks because it's an older jetted tub. We actually want to turn that whole bathroom into like an Asian bathroom where it's all just tile and put like a tiled, uh, like a tiled bench in there too, because at some point we're going to be old and you know, we're going to need a place to sit when we wash, but because I like to sit when I shave my legs. Um, so for me, that would be super helpful to be able to shave my legs like that. But we're talking about getting that with like a bench and that way you can just, all you need to just squeeze you out the sides and take a shower and go in your happy little way. You don't need a shower bar, nothing. Um, so we're kind of thinking about doing that, but we're not sure yet. Um, but yeah, so overall that is, you know, what I've been thinking about a lot lately and I get frustrated when I hear people talking about her saying these things that aren't true because the only person she's hurting is herself but she's also not helping other people who might I mean this is gonna sound bad but you know what if you're a bigger girl and you're having issues with that there are things out there you can use to make sure you're getting fully clean I mean that's it's important um and when you're a bigger person people are already judging you and it's important to make sure that you don't give them more ammo than they, than they don't need you know um, they don't need any ammo against you because they've already got pre pre-decided biases about you based on looking at you. Like a lot of people look at me and say, oh, you must eat a lot. And my husband just laughs because it's not true. Um, my son laughs, my daughter laughs, like everybody thinks it's hysterical because anybody knows me knows it's not true. And it's very frustrating or that I like junk food. Like I remember one time I was at, uh, working somewhere and there was like cookies or something and... Someone was like, are you going to get cookies? And I'm like, oh no, I don't really like sweet stuff. And they're like, yeah, right. 
you're just gonna sneak in there when nobody's watching. You just don't even know you're taking cookies because you're fat. And I was like, no, I actually really don't really like cookies that much. Like, I do like some, but they're kind of the ones I bake myself. Um, like, I don't like chocolate chip cookies. I, if I'm gonna have a cookie, it's usually an oatmeal raisin. Like, that's kind of my go to. Or like a snickerdoodle, which is like very cinnamony. I don't really like super sweet stuff at all. Like, sugar cookies are a hard pass. They are too sweet. They hurt my face, I swear. My husband, one time I had a sugar cookie, so the only option, I put it in my mouth, I was like, chewing like this. My husband was like, are you okay? I'm like, no, this is gross. Um, but I just, I really just don't like sweet stuff at all. Um, so for me, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, I just know that at the end of the day, I want to make sure that I am being healthy and that any previous issues I had, I can change. That's kind of where I'm at on that. So, anyhow, I will talk at y'all later, and I've been going on for too long now. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.